Welcome back. I'm your host, Darnell Jackson. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to use the DAO E image editor to create game changing images for your business. Make sure you share this advanced video with your good friends on the internet. Okay, now I'm going to jump over to our favorite image robot, DAO E2. And instead of typing in the text for a prompt like we normally would to generate an image, what we're going to do is we're going to click the option to upload an image. I'm going to browse to the to the image that you saw on the thumbnail before we added the Twitter birds or the birds flying on it. OK, so the first thing I want to do is crop this image. I'm going to bring it all the way to the edge. OK, all the way to the edge and I'm going to say crop. OK, now I have the full image selected. I'm going to say edit image. OK, so now it gives me the image. And so what I'm going to do, I could I'm, I could go ahead and take out some of the image here because I want birds to fly in here. So I'm just going to take out some of this just so we have more area for birds to be flying. And so right away, it gives me the prompt. I can go ahead and type in, type in a prompt. And so what I'm going to do is paste the text that I know I used to generate the, the birds. And it was just tons of Twitter birds flying around man. OK, that was the simple prompt. You see what I have selected by the blue box. And this generation is going to take a minute. So I'm going to hit generate and let it cook. This may take a minute. OK, so sit tight. I'm not going to edit this video. You're going to have to wait real time while this is working. What I want you to do is browse the videos that are on the channel. And make sure that you are getting up to speed on all of the topics that have been covered. There are two playlists that you need to watch for. The first is how to use chat GPT for business. There are 17 videos that you want to check out. And the second, which is this playlist is going to be how to use Dow E for business. So that everything's about business here. And also, while the Dow E robot is working, still working, okay, make sure you subscribe at howy.ai. It's all about how to grow your business with artificial intelligence. Now, we have to have some patience with this particular function. It does take much longer. I did a couple tests with this. And what I found was I thought the robot was timing out, but it actually was working. So here it is. It's giving us the results. We asked for tons of Twitter birds flying around the man. Here's the original image, right? There's the original. And we can see what it gave us. Here are the results. All right. And added these birds in to the image using the same background. And it just filled in what it calls Twitter birds here. So that's the second option. Here's one with a whole bunch of birds. And I just want to use this as an example so you can see how you can edit an image. And there's there's much more you can do with this. And you can use your own creativity as you modify images to add more complexity to them. At this point in time, I can select a variation and then attempt to edit it again. But I don't want to tie up. I don't want to tie up too much time because this generation does take some time so you can scroll back at the history and you can see the previous 
edits. So I'm going to click back to the previous edits and you can see how I changed the size of the image here and how that affected the output, right? So there's different ways I can edit it and look how Dow E, once I erased more of the image, notice how it fills in his body. This was not a part of the original image, his legs and his hands. But notice Dow E fills that in. I just want to share with you a couple different variations that I edited earlier. Here's one where it added his hand, his second hand, and a yellow piece of paper and one big bird there. So it just gives you many different variations and also understand these options cost. So they affect my account here. I want to just show you every time I'm creating these variations, I'm using my credits. All right. So this process is not free. It's an advanced step and it does cost you. Each image you generate is about 13 cents. We did the math on it. And so here is another group of images it gave us. And it created a table here. I thought this was really interesting. It actually went out and made a table. So you started with the same image and you have all of these variations. And this is going to allow you to tell a much better story to engage with your with the visitor to your with the viewer of your content in a, in a much more relevant way. And this is what will lead to conversions when you're able to communicate in a way that compels, that really brings more, you know, it really does communicate what it is that you're trying to say in a better way. So this is an advanced option that you really want to learn how to do. You can edit an image in many different ways, and you can even go back and edit the variation. So without holding up the video, I see how long it took for that first edit, but just understand the process would be the same. You could go in and, and click one of these guys and you can edit this image because this is a variation. So I could just go ahead and start the process over again and I can edit pieces of this image and then add more to it. I really don't want to burn through a bunch of my um, credits, but I don't want to bigger. I don't want to, I don't want to hold up this video because it takes a while to generate. But if I want to go through that process again, using this variation, I could click edit. And then now it says erase part of the image, then edit the description. So I could come in here and I can delete some more over here. Maybe I don't want those verbs there. And I could say, right, let's just go down here and I can say, okay, something happened here. Okay. All right. We'll have to do edit, delete here a little bit. And then I can say, instead of saying tons of Twitter birds flying around the man, I can say, I can say what what could appear there sunlight shines on the man sunlight sunlight shines on the man okay let's see how it, how it looks if we generate this boom all right it's cooking and once again we're going to have to wait we're towards the end of the video we're in a little bit bonus bonus round time right now so let's take a look at some of our favorite prompts. I went ahead and, and created an account over here on Prompt Hero. And this site has some incredible images that you could build prompts on. You could take these prompts and edit them slightly and use them for your site. So this is an excellent resource while we're waiting that I always like to check out for inspiration just some incredible imagery is so 
amazing that this is generated automatically for you for only 15 cents. It's just out of control that this is even an option. So let's jump back over and see what Dali's doing. Okay, so we asked for sunlight on the man. And I don't know if it generated it. Okay, we may have to work with this a little bit more. But you kind of get the point, okay? I don't want to hold up the video forever. But you kind of get the point. I could go through and edit again and figure out why. Let's see, I didn't get any sunlight on this. So if I did edit again, I can delete this. And bright sunlight, sunlight. Sunlight is shining on the laptop. Let's say bright sunlight is shining. Let's just say that and generate. Let it work. I know this is holding things up just a bit, but this is what you're going to have to go through yourself. So this is a real, this is a real tutorial here because you're going to be waiting for the AI to generate the modification. So I'm just sitting here watching it, letting the time go by. And here it is generating. So let's see what we get. It says bright sunlight is shining. It's about to give us something. I know this video took a little bit longer. <laughs> okay. It did not it did not interpret what I want well at all. It actually just wrote <laughs> words on the screen. So this shows you how much you gotta kind of you know massage the image editing and just kind of play with it a little bit until you get it exactly where you want it, okay? Make sure you subscribe at howwhy.ai. It's all about how to grow your business with artificial intelligence. When you when you subscribe, you'll get 12 businesses to start with AI today, and you'll get 31 AI apps to use in your business now. You'll also get my email address when you have questions about the process, such as the editor right now that is giving me a little bit of snags. It's a little bit, it's a little bit kind of, you know, it's not super smooth but you definitely can work with it. So when you start having questions with this process, I'll be there to help you out. At this point in time, I wanna thank you for liking this video. If you did not like this video, make sure you share it with somebody who will. Make sure you share it with somebody who will. Until the next time, I am Darnell Jackson. Peace.